Welcome to Clean Air Vapor's video series on building a POS system for your small business. I'm Timothy Hade. I'll be your host. Uh, I am using FileMaker 14 Pro. Uh, this video uh, series is an extended series of videos to help the small business owner cope with the overwhelming cost of digital sales recording and accounting. Okay, so this is our first one. I'm I'm positive I'm going to be quite rusty at this, and I actually had some problems with getting my microphone uh, fixed. And uh, this is actually going to be my second quick video here, but uh, this is the one I'm going to post. So let's go into your store. Uh, that would probably be the wrong one. Okay, so we don't want this one, so let's file, close. We didn't want the your store copy. What we're actually looking for is the your store. So just went into um, open the files and it brought me that. Now, one thing that you're going to very quickly find out is I went ahead and I changed this button uh, because it didn't say console before I was missing the N. So I went ahead and put that in there. If you're really um, freaked out about someone may be able to get into your console system, you can always put a security box up here. And then you just have to type in a number or statement like, you know, Johnny or whatever you want to. And then um, like in the previous videos, whenever you press the console, it would actually check and see what's in the security box. I also added the register online sales. We're going to go ahead and, and go into um, edit layout and see kind of what I did. Now, I did move some of these around. Um, because the date doesn't need to be very big, the time of action, the invoice number has to be quite large because we're dealing with a giant number of uh, like seven to 12 digits. It just depends. The, the larger the number of digits, the more secure you're going to be. And then I just kind of lined everything up. And one thing that I did do is I put this notes one in here. So I went to my database. if it comes up in the normal time my computer is kind of messing up and I, I plan on getting another computer in the next month or so so we'll have much better videos and much more com um, because I'm doing this on my laptop and my laptop is really getting um, quite full of videos and I'm having to put them on to a, like a, an additional disk or an, an external hard drive but what I did was I did the notes one and I just made it a text and I and I just went ahead and created it and um, what I put it there for, and it went ahead and left the margin to the left. What I put it there for is if someone does something when they get to the invoice page. So um, let's go to the invoice page. So let's say that they're on the invoice page and, and they put something in here that didn't quite mix. Or um, let's say in your menu you have a discount button that you've put in here somewhere you know hey I'm gonna discount this now if you have a discount button or you have anything and you really want to make sure that you're not uh, or that you're keeping track of what your employees are doing or what your people are doing that's necessarily where you're going to need to have um, that note button on the invoice or on the uh, let's go back to it the daily sales reporting page that's where this note thingy comes in handy because what you can do from there is you can say you can tell it when you push the cash button you can say if this information exists um, you know put this in in there and you'll see it will come in handy in the future and, and we'll obviously get that far but so what I did was let's go back to the invoice one and what I did was I went ahead and created remember how we made these pop-outs went ahead and I created two buttons I created a, a verified button and a cancel button and then I I just wrote in text I came up if you do the edit the layout thing um, I just hit the text button 
and I just typed it in there. I double clicked here on cash really quick. And um, I did verify cash sales and I just typed it in, please verify cash sale. And why we did this is because a lot of times what happens is people will get used to just pushing the same, you know, hitting the same button all the time. Cash, 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 cash. And you really want to be able to segregate your cash from your credit. And the reason why you want to do that is because you need to know how much money is in your till at any given time. So you need to be able to segregate the cash from the credit. And then, of course, you have a split pay. Now, the credit, I did the same thing. I just copied these two. The split pay one is going to be a much different because we're actually going to have to add some information into here like how much cash did they give you and then you know this is what the this is how much um, they have to pay in credit card and, and we'll get to that that's all scripting and we're gonna get much farther into the scripting part of this um, as we go along but for today basically I just wanted to kind of um, jump back in and see what was going on um, we can see here that we've got 10 records so absolutely just kind of run through all the records, get to the last one, um, get back to edit layout. This is just going to be a really short um, video. We went through the security box, register one, register two, uh, see if there's anything else that I did. I don't think there's anything else that I actually did. This takes you to the invoice page. We've actually gotten quite a bit, um, quite far actually, which is quite surprising because I didn't, I didn't think we had gotten quite that far. So menu, exit, store, and new. So the store and the new one we haven't, we haven't done anything with, and that's fine. We will just live with that. So um, next time, what we will talk about is we're going to talk a lot about. Um, writing the scripts for this because we're going to need to be able to take information and that's basically the page that we set up what we're going to do is we're going to take the information um, from this this page the total the non-tax the tax the tender the change um, the date and the time and all that other neat stuff and we're going to put that on our daily sales one page so that we know exactly uh, what our sales are and and of course these summary boxes will keep track of absolutely everything for us so at the end of the day we'll be we'll be able to go back in and we'll say all right today we made you know two hundred and fifty dollars and and this is how much tax that we had collected uh, and we'll be able to to segregate that information because this is um, Summary of taxes collected, total sales, the taxable sales, credit card sales, cash sales. Taxable sales is um, this is what the total sales were without the taxes. An invoice number, time of action will happen the second they do that. Console. All right, well, I can't think of anything else that we really need to add to this uh, series right now. I just wanted to get my feet wet and jump back into the pond and let you guys know I'm still here and I'm going to start making uh, more videos. I plan on this going through the spring. Hopefully by then I'll have my new computer set up and we'll be able to get through it. Um, I'm also telling you that um, not to forget that I do have a, um, a program that's very similar to this one. It's actually one that I, I personally use. Uh, we can close this one out. And then let's open one. Um, so I was going to go ahead and show you um, uh, some of these other programs, but I have decided not to. So if, if you like what you saw, please subscribe. Let me know how you feel. Let me know what's going on. Um, I hope you continue to watch. Like I said, I'm definitely going to keep this up. I am working on trying to get a new computer system because my old one has failed. It's just a laptop uh, and it's really not working very well. But um, I, I would really enjoy seeing you uh, in the future and 
be prepared. Uh, we're going to start writing a whole bunch of stuff for the new programs, uh, a whole bunch of script for this program. So uh, stay tuned, and I will see you in about a week. Thank you. Bye.